Canary Row is one of the most adorable shorts that I have ever seen. This is obviously a Tweedy Bird short. It was released in 1950, nominated for the Academy Award for Best Cartoon Short. It didn't win. Um, the Pepe Le Pew short for sentimental reasons won that year. Um, but that, that was a deserved winner. But if this had won, I completely would have been in agreement with that because I think it is adorable and quite unique. I mean, not compared to other Sylvester and Tweety cartoons that came after the fact. But I'll talk about what I mean about that in a moment. Um, but this was directed by Fritz Freelang, um, written by Ted Pierce. Stars the fabulous voice actor Mel Blanc um, as Sylvester. Um, B. Bernadette... Uh, Benadorette. I definitely mispronounced that surname and I apologise wholeheartedly. Um, voices Granny, who is one of my favourite characters ever, one of my favourite animated characters. I I absolutely love her. I think she is so adorable and the design of her always makes me happy and actually she is the reason why I think this is unique. There are a lot of cat and mouse, cat and bird cartoons um, that are very similar with a cat trying to chase a smaller animal but granny and her treatment of sylvester makes this so much more unique i'm not going to say any more than that um i won't spoil it it's actually the first sylvester and tweety want to feature granny which i think is pretty exciting um and because it is a merry melodies i'm a big fan of the merry melodies cartoons um i prefer the ones where there are no iconic characters in where it's something fresh and exciting but I have to say this is a strong contender for being one of my favourites. The premise is very simple. Tweety Bird is, oh my goodness, the soundtrack for this. You would not believe how amazing it is. I'm so enamoured of this short more than I expected. Tweety Bird is in his cage. He is singing a lovely song. And um, I'm trying to remember off the top of my head. He was singing, I think, when Irish eyes were smiling. And he was singing something else as well. Really thoroughly enjoyed his little vocal performances um, and Sylvester is desperately trying to get Tweety and Tweety does everything he can to um, throw Sylvester away and I won't say how he does it but I will say there's a hilarious moment with a bowling ball that's completely unrealistic but a lot of fun to watch. I think the reason this works for me more than anything is because Tweety Pie um, I don't know if he was actually called Tweety Pie at this point or if he was just Tweety. Um, I'm not sure. But he is the most adorable character ever. I love his little yellow design, his large eyes and the eyelashes and he is just so sweet. And I love his relationship with Granny and it just makes it a cut above the rest. Um, Sylvester is a character I like. Sylvester is a lot of fun. I like the design of Sylvester. But for me, Tweety is absolutely the shining star. This one melts my heart. If you've never seen it, if you've never seen any Sylvester and Tweety, I absolutely recommend this one as a starting point. But if you've seen them but not this one, definitely check it out. I think you will love it. It's a very worthy nominee in that category. I understand why the um, For Sentimental Reasons won. But if this had won, definitely would have understood why.